we're going to compare the following fractions using inequality symbols. One way to compare fractions is to create two equivalent fractions with a common denominator. It doesn't have to be the least common denominator, just a common denominator. So here we want to compare nine sixteenths and nine fifteenths. In this case though, notice how the denominator determines how many partitions one whole piece is divided into. And since fifteenths are larger than sixteenths, we should be able to recognize that nine fifteenths is greater than nine sixteenths, or nine sixteenths is less than nine fifteenths. But we'll go ahead and show the process anyway. If we have nine sixteenths, we're going to compare this to nine fifteenths. One easy way to find a common denominator is just to multiply the denominators together. Fifteen times sixteen would give us a common denominator. So we'll multiply nine sixteenths by fifteen over fifteen. And we'll multiply nine fifteenths by sixteen over sixteen. Notice how we are going to have a common denominator. And since nine times fifteen equals one hundred thirty-five, and sixteen times fifteen equals two hundred forty, the fraction here on the left would be one hundred thirty-five over two hundred forty. And now for the fraction on the right, notice how we'd have 144 over 240. Now that we have a common denominator, we can tell that 135 240ths is less than 144 240ths. Now looking at our next example, we have eight ninths compared to nine eighths. Now this one we should not have to get a common denominator. Notice eight ninths is less than one because it's a proper fraction, but nine eighths is an improper fraction, and therefore it's more than one. And therefore eight ninths is less than nine eighths. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more. Here we have twenty-nine thirtieths compared to twenty-eight twenty-ninths. To obtain our common denominator, we'll use thirty times twenty-nine, so we'll multiply twenty-nine thirtieths by twenty-nine over twenty-nine, and we'll multiply twenty-eight twenty-ninths by thirty over thirty. Notice how our denominators are now going to be the same. Looking at the products on the calculator, the fraction on the left would be eight hundred forty-one over eight hundred seventy. And the fraction on the right would be eight hundred forty over eight hundred seventy. Now that we have a common denominator, notice how the fraction on the left is larger. So we say this fraction is greater than the fraction on the right. And therefore twenty-nine thirtieths is greater than twenty-eight twenty-ninths. Now that we've gone over three examples on how to compare fractions using a common denominator, let's do these last three by converting to decimals. Seven twelfths means seven divided by twelve, and six thirteenths means six divided by thirteen. So comparing the decimals, notice how we can tell that seven twelfths is greater than six thirteenths. Next we have one half compared to three fifths. So one divided by two compared to three divided by five. Notice how here this shows that one half is less than three fifths. And for our last example, we have one divided by fifty nine compared to one divided by fifty eight. Notice how one fifty ninth is less than one fifty eighth. I hope you found this helpful.